lot of people talk about how it's becoming more difficult to get by, more difficult to survive, more difficult to make ends meet, more difficult to get new customers, more difficult to increase your cat activity in the background, more difficult to make a living. But it seems like in a lot of ways everyone is saying this but no one is actually doing anything about it because when life is hard what we tend to do is we try and find ways to make our lives easier without looking at what it is about the world system that makes life so difficult and asking the question why have we made our lives so difficult because at the end of the day it's us who have made the world system as it is it's us who continue to participate in it which in turn supports it uh, to continue going the way that it is going so what will it take for us to get to the point of saying you know what life shouldn't be this hard my focus and attention shouldn't be on trying to get by I should be able to grow and express and experience life and explore different things and explore different parts of myself in a supportive community, in a supportive infrastructure where each person is given the ability to live. And I mean live, really just enjoy life and be part of a community and be part of something great rather than focusing on just how am I going to get through this month? How am I going to make my life a little bit easier? How am I going to find a way to make my business, my life, my story a success? At some point, we must realize that it's not just about me, my, and mine. It's about us, we, and ours. Because we, collectively, are continuing to create this world that all of the eyes, the individuals, are experiencing and having to deal with. So, yes, life shouldn't be this hard. But we are the ones who make it this hard. We are the ones who have literally created and been responsible for 99% of all the awful things that happen in the world. All the awful things that happen to any person or plant or animal or creature, great or small. It's because of us. Sure, there's like the 1% of natural disasters and things like that. Okay, but a lot of the time... Those natural disasters could have been minimized or the after effect, the cleanup, the uh, rebuilding afterwards could have been done much better if we didn't make it so difficult. If we didn't say, oh, sorry, you guys, your house broke down. Oh, well, you know, you need money to build it a new one or to repair the, what's broken. Even if you look at something like illnesses everyone gets sick and some people get far more sick than the average person however <laughs> it's not like when you get sick everything is just taken care of depending on what country you're in there are some countries who actually do support their citizens uh, significantly more than the norm Usually what happens is you either are very fortunate and have enough money to pay for your treatment or you don't have enough money and you hope that it gets better on its own or you take a chance of going to a public hospital where you may or may not come out alive or you put yourself into extreme debt. Sometimes you die anyway. 
So, the moral of the story is, we have made, for example, the healthcare industry an industry. We have made it about money. We have not made it about care and healing. And we cannot blame the industry for that. The industry did not create itself. It did not suddenly appear one day and then everyone was just like, oh, okay, well, I suppose, you know, this is just how things are. So let's, let's just go with it. Everything about the world system as it is now was created <laughs> brick by brick, piece by piece by humans. And humans are the ones who continue to support the world system as it is. So in order to create change, we are the ones who must create that change. We are the ones who must say, I do not want to continue living in a world where money is valued above life, where I struggle to get by every month, where billions of people struggle to get by and a large portion of them don't get by and compromise themselves every single day trying to survive, trying to feed their families. I am not okay with the world system exploiting nature and animals for profit rather than us creating a balance and sustainable future where our children will be protected and provided for and safe and healthy where they don't have to worry about toxic environments but that's a very big thing to say that's like <laughs> how how do I create that well we may not be able to make big changes in the world as individuals but we can make big changes in our personal lives we can make big changes in the way that we are living in the way that we are thinking even because up until now everything about how we live including how we think and how we develop relationships and how we talk to each other in a way supports how things have been we're the ones who's saying well this is just how it is or oh no it's their fault or no, the government must take care of it when at the end of the day it's up to us to start seeing where in my life can I take responsibility for something where in my life can I make a change where in my community can I make a change where in my family relationships can I develop better relationships can I support people better where can I start living as an example of the kind of person that I would like every single neighbor around me to be and the world leaders to be how can I start living in a way that exemplifies the potential of humanity and it may not create change overnight it may not have a huge impact, but that is how any person anywhere in the world can make a change. And it can be tangible, it can become tangible. Sometimes it takes time, but it can become real. Something you can see and touch. Something that ripples out and changes many lives around you. So, if you find yourself saying, I don't know how I'm supposed to get through this month. How am I supposed to survive? Take a moment to reflect on how you can start living differently, thinking differently, being part of showing the people around you that it is possible to be better it is possible to be a person that you can be proud of all of these things we can create and each one of us can be part of that process of change so thanks for watching i'll see you next time if you have any comments please leave them below 
Otherwise, you can support me on Patreon. The link is also in the description.